Hi guys, welcome back. I'm going to do some LVL against Italia IFL Flamenco. It says we are unranked, but let's go to the league screen. And as we can see, we are ranked 367 with a record of 6 and 0. We've got to get higher than that, but we still got plenty of time. We're going to go up against Babichu, a 75 defense. And so let's start. If you saw the 10 messages in my inbox, those are my auctions that I had put up for auction. I'm trying to make some coins. I upgraded my defense today to 75, and I am 76 overall now, so that is good. Trying to grind and get better and better. And I'm going to receive this kick and hopefully get a good return out of it. And I do, pretty close to the 30. And we're going to start it out with a run, halfback, blast, running to the left. And I'm going to get about six. Could have been better, but I ran into some, my, some of my linemen. So I'm going to go with power O. It's a heavy set formation. No one out wide. And I've got room, a little room, and I take it for a first down. I'm going to go... Let's go with tight end angle here. There are two routes that I'm looking for. I'm either going to hit... The B receiver, which I believe is Owens on that deep out, or I'm going to hit Gesicki, the tight end, which is the RB receiver on his angle. So I'm going to drop back, and I'm going to look. T.O. is open. He's going to make the catch, and he's got it into opponent territory for a first down. We're going to go long pass here, post. This is suggested, and it's one of my favorite pass plays. I'm, the main route for me is to go to the tight end, which is the A receiver, Gesicki here. He's not... Yeah, he is open, so I'm going to hit him. He's going to make the catch. For a minute, I did not think he would be open, but he was, and I hit him. He's inside the 35 for a first down. Let's go with halfback dive, and hopefully I'll get a big hole up the middle. I have to kick it right guard because up the middle had a linebacker, and I take it very close for a first down. I made a good read there and got a few extra yards. Let's go with fullback dive just to power in for that first down. They go with a heavy set defensive formation, but I get the first down easily. I'm going to go with play action slot cross. This is similar to slot crosses, but this one this one only has one cross and it's shallower cross. I'm going to he is not open and so I take the sack. I should have thrown it away, but I was hoping he would get open and I was not not able to hit my wide receiver. And so I'm going to go with st toss strong here. It's one of my favorite run plays, second and 16, trying to get a, a good bit of these yards back and Ah, the computer takes control of the analog stick, and it's 3rd and 11. And when the computer takes control of it, then it's never good because they never do what they need to do with the analog stick. Not usually anyway. So let's go with wide receiver under. It's a long pass play. I'm looking to hit my tight end on his vertical route because he usually gets open. Sometimes the B receiver will get open. And I hit the scramble. He does nothing. It's 4th and 23. Horrible job by Rosen. I'm beginning to hate him. He's 81, I believe, overall, but he looks he plays horribly. Look, we're going to have to try to bail ourselves out. Play action slot crosses. I could go to T.O. deep because it looks like it's going to be press coverage and maybe he can get open. But he's not open. I'm going to have to hit a crossing route, and Shepard cannot get it. That is on Sterling Shepard there. If he had cut like I told him to, we had a first down. But Sterling Shepard beats us. Well, really, we wouldn't have been in that position if it hadn't been for Josh Rosen. Man, my players did not execute well. And solid play calling. Just sometimes your players don't do that well. And we should not drop a drive against a 75 defense. But when your players don't execute their plays well, it's hard. But I take the responsibility because it's obviously me playing. And we reach level 2. We'll claim and continue. And I'm looking for speed, but I don't see any. So I'm going to go with awareness because I'm also going with that. And why not just get this Captain Patches voucher? And so I get 6 awareness things and a Captain Patches. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe that goes to my league bank. I'm not sure. Well, I'm not sure anyway. I have got to do much better on this drive. Partially my fault. Partially my players didn't execute 
Josh Rosen should be good, but I don't know what the deal is. He's He doesn't perform well for me usually at times. But anyway, we ought to do better this drive. I'm going to take this kick in. We're going to get a decent return. Hoping for a better drive. And it's first and ten. Let's go with post. And we're going to hit the tight end, the A receiver here, on his corner route that he runs. And this pass is almost intercepted. Josh Rosen threw a horrible throw. And, uh, yes, I know I threw a bullet pass, but he cannot throw it right to the defensive back. He's got to throw it past him. But uh, Rosen is just not having a good tournament. Uh, LVL, I should say. So we're going to go with play action FL dive. Same, almost the exact identical route here for the tight end. Except he's more open this time. He's got the catch and a big first down. And so now I'm going to go with halfback blast. A good run play in the West Coast scheme. And I kick it out, but there's a defender there. That play was absolutely stuffed. Nothing I could do about it. Let's go with PACTR waggle. And there's a crossing route for wide receiver B or the tight end. And I throw the ball. Oh, Rosen did not throw the ball. Rosen is making me angry because he will not do what I tell him to do. So there's nothing left to do but on third and 22, wide receiver under. Tight end should be open. He is, and he makes the catch. And Gator walking. Gator walking is taking me to the house. Touchdown. That was a big, big play. Third and 22, nothing going right. Rosen couldn't do anything well. Finally, he delivers a good pass, and Gesicki outruns the defense. <sighs> Finally, Josh Rosen stands in there and makes a big play. And as usual, flip toss strong for the two-point conversion. By far the best two-point conversion play. Ooh, boy, I was starting to get angry at Rosen. And thankfully, Rosen makes a good pass and Gesicki does the rest. So, I'm a little less mad at him now. If you guys have suggestions for me to do play calls, please put them down in the comments below, and I will try to do them <clears throat> in the next LVL. Feel free to make suggestions about anything that I do that you may not like or that I don't do right or something. Feel free. So we're probably going to try to do a little more run here because I got away from that the past drive or two. Let's go with halfback dive. This is the heavy set formation of this of this play. This is a variant of it. And uh, the computer took control of it. It said I was controlling it, but it was doing some juke moves or something. But I get four out of that. So let's go with uh, Blast here. It's a good run play. It did not work last time, though. And I get close to a first down, five yards. And we're going to go ahead and go with Halfback Counter, running left. They've got a lot of people up at the line, but I get good blocking. I don't say good blocking a lot, but I did get it and pass the 40. Let's go with play action slot crosses. The two crossing routes are good routes, but also the B receiver can get open sometimes. Gesicki's open on the crossing route. Too bad I couldn't hit him earlier or he ha had a huge play, but he gets a first down out of it. And we're going to go with spread slot flags. It's suggested. I don't use this play a ton, but it is a lot similar to the play that was in last season of Mad Mobile and I'm going to look to hit the corner out to Gesicki the tight end except he doesn't appear to be open so I try to throw it to a crossing route but I'm hit as I throw but at least I got the ball away so that wasn't very good but we'll live with it halfback dive here it is the the non heavy set variant and he starts running right again the computer taking control of the analog stick is really getting out of hand I wish they wouldn't do it but uh, anyway, it is what it is. We've got to deal with it. Let's go with post here. Long pass. You know the route I'm looking for. It's Gesicki on that corner. Except he's not really open. And I throw the ball, but Josh Rosen won't throw it. Josh Rosen refuses to throw the ball. He is making me angry. So wide receiver under again. They've got a lot of people at the line. Maybe I can hold him off long enough and throw it to Gesicki. He's open. And he makes the catch. And he falls. But that's okay. It bailed us out. Josh Rosen is starting to make me angry and trigger me. So I gotta calm down. Let's go with halfback sting. It's similar to blast. Running left. And I make a good cut and I take that close to a first down. This drop this uh 
LVL has been very erratic, but uh, hopefully I can do better. I got to get two touchdowns on the board. Let's go fullback dive to get this first down. We'll punch it for first down, and we very nearly get it in the end zone. I'm not going to spam plays, guys. So I'm going to go with H zone weak. So they're going to bring someone in motion. Then I'm going to hand the ball off. Powell cutting in the backfield. I didn't do that, but the computer did. But I get in the end zone. That's all that matters. Toss strong flipped again for the two point. And I get it in the end zone easily. That's 16 on the day. Not so good a day, guys. Rosen played horribly. But we managed to come out of here with the 16. Rosen stepped up and made some crucial throws on the last two drives. So he did somewhat redeem himself. But anyway, guys, if you like this video, please subscribe. And leave a like on my video. And if you subscribe, be sure to hit the bell icon so that you'll get all my videos when I drop them. Thank you for the support, guys. And God bless you all.